xác này What? Okay, wow, technical difficulties galore. Wow, it's like the internet doesn't want me to share the truth. This is the fact. Error has occurred. Okay. Oh, okay, alright. Okay, it's working. Yay. Okay. Oh, hi, Bobby. How's it going? Hello, my friend. I hope it's going well. Um, I'm having a little technical difficulties on my end, so if something appears, like, choppy, you can't hear me, let me know, because... Uh, right now, I'm getting spinning circle, but it seems like it's working. Alright, so, uh, hi there. My name is Dave. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for taking time out of your day. Uh, to join me with some Mortal Kombat. Yes, do love this game. And I was kind of perplexed. Have you ever finished that video, by the way? Oh, Bobby. Oh, definitely. I've been thinking about it. I've been thinking about it. I will talk to you after this video on Discord. So let's do that, okay? Yes, I know. The Invisible Man one. I want to ask you a question about that specifically, but I want to save that for off stream so we'll, we'll talk on discord because right now i just want to keep it to just the skeleton keys because like on reddit i had like a little tip with a user named uh okay no problem yeah thank you bobby thank you thank you thank you so yeah i had a I had a tip with this guy I'm gonna I'm gonna call him out. His name was Little Gizmo, Little Gizmo on Reddit, and uh, he was telling me that getting the skeleton keys to unlock the towers from Collector Trade is just impossible, and that's not true. Definitely not true. Now, uh, uh, granted, I was in the position where I did obtain a whole lot of skeleton keys when they were giving it out for free, but I didn't have 200, and I had to get more to actually make the trade to get this skin for Jackie. So in the game, there are two specific towers that you can only unlock through collector trade. So one of them is for this Jackie, Jackie skin, weapons free. And the other one is for collector. In fact, it is the only like thing that I'm missing from the vanilla game for collector. Um, it's... What? It's not even pretty. This thing takes 200 skeleton keys to get. So, um, I'm going to show you some things that I've discovered about the crypt. After spending about 15 million dollars. 15 million coins. Or more. And I keep on spending more. That's the problem. <laughs> Definitely, you want to make sure that if you are going to spend anything like opening chests for skeleton keys, that you have already obtained mostly everything that you want from the Naknat and Shrine. Uh, getting everything from the Naknat and Shrine is pretty easy, but if you don't have the coin to do it, you're not going to get it. So, okay, so let's just reset the crypt as well. I want all the chests. To be filled so basically there are three different ways that you can obtain skeleton skele uh, skeleton keys um if you were playing this game back in the early days in the very 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 early days there was one specific chest i believe it was this one this one always dropped skeleton keys and I believe that was because, you know, they didn't want, like, NetherRealm didn't want people to be locked out of parts of the crypt so that they would always make a skeleton key available pretty easily. So I feel like that idea kind of still holds true. This is all very much anecdotal, anecdotal evidence. But I noticed that whenever I go into the crypt upon like a fresh entry and I open all of the chests that are in Shang Tsung's throne room as well as the entrance there is a greater probability of finding a skeleton key 
in one of those chests. So as you saw there, I had to refill 15 chests. That's because it took me 15 chests on my previous attempt to get a skeleton key just from opening here. So I'm going to just show you what is my typical opening pattern. It's just all the things here. All the things here. So, um, a lot of the items that you get from these chests, they're either augments or they're either tower consumables. And from what I've noticed, after opening all of the crypt chests about, you know, billions of times, billions of times, is that uh, different areas of the crypt di drop different things in different amounts. I don't know if that really makes sense, but there's like tag assist um, consumables that are more readily available in the courtyard in comparison to all, all of the stuff that you get here in Shang Tsung's um, treasure cache. Now, it could be possible that after opening all of these chests, you don't get a skeleton key, because that happens. They are hard to come by. But the idea is that if you don't get it, don't sweat it because there's still other options available to get the skeleton keys without spending coins. Now, as you see here, I have like a buttload of coins, a buttload of coins. So I would only recommend doing this if you have a buttload of coins like myself. If you don't have coins, then you should probably save your coins for opening other things, opening other things. Um, like the knack down and shrine, because I feel like that's more rewarding than just opening these random chests. Like, I've opened thousands of these r random chests, and I've gotten just really shit, really nothing. So, um, as you can see here, like, there's still no skeleton key popping, but, I mean, it is just all RNG. And at some point, you have to call it, like, quits, because you don't want to waste all your money, too, right? So my typical quitting point is, yeah, just everything in the in the treasure room, as well as the palace entrance. And if I don't get it there, eh. I used to also open the uh, Deadwoods as well. I would get skeleton keys there as well, I would find. But um, ultimately, I don't want to, I don't want to waste, waste the money. Because you never know what's coming up ahead. Like, I really hope that they have like a crypt buff that will give you um, the concept art. Like, that's the only thing I'm missing from the crypt in terms of collectibles, as well as these skeleton keys. So as you see, nothing popped there, so that's unfortunate. But um, typically, all of the chests that are in this entrance and Shang Tsung's throne room area are cheaper. They are typically cheaper. They range in the scale of 2,000 and 5,000 coins. So, on average, that is cheaper than opening chests anywhere else. So, this is also why I like to open here. But, um, yeah, no skeleton keys. So sad. So sad. So, this is... You can... Oh, I also was using Sindel's Wedding Ring. Sindel's Wedding Ring is a consumable. If you have it, might as well use it. It halves the cost of opening these chests. But... Yeah, nothing. Nothing so sad. And that's normal. And that is typical. Like, there have been many occasions where I have, like, just opened these things and nothing. Nothing. But as you see there, I have 82. 82 skeleton keys? Like, yesterday, I started off with 30. And the day before that was, like... <laughs> I don't know, you know, like I've just been, I've just been gaining. So, uh, it does require some time, it does require patience, uh, and, yeah, so that, those are opening the chest, that's the first method. The second method, every time that you come into the crypt, these areas that I'm looking up at, these wooden posts, these wooden posts have a, have a possibility of spawning a corpse, and corpse have the possibility of dropping either one to three hearts or a skeleton key. Please, skeleton key? No, just a heart. Fuck. 
So, like, I mean, it does take a lot of patience, a lot of time. But this is the typical path that I go through. I start from Shang Tsung's area, run to the four corners of this, like, palace entrance, courtyard area, see where there are any dead bodies or, like, hanging people. <sighs> and there's none. Oh, there's also the Chronica Orb. Let's just open that. Why not? It's a good deal. 5,000 bucks, and then you get, like, some consumables or augments. Huh, okay. Hmm. So yeah, like, anywhere there are these, like, big posts, there's a possibility of a corpse spawning in. But wow, game is stingy. Game is giving me no bodies. No bodies. But, I mean, there is the possibility of bodies to spawn all here. So, um, you, like, what I do, I go through the whole crypt. So I'm going to show you the whole, like, little marathon that I do through the crypt. And since it resets every time that you leave the crypt, uh, like, basically halfway through your journey, you'll just, like, leave the crypt once you finish the bottom. So we finished the top. And now we got to go through the bottom. And it's going to take four ever forever to get these 200 keys but like it's not impossible that's my point it is definitely not impossible oh yes so there is a possibility of bodies by collector trade so i go there hmm no bodies game is stingy okay let's also call um collector forward Maybe perhaps he'll show that tower key. Waste my time. Nope, no tower key. Wow, so stingy. Why are you so stingy today, Mortal Kombat? Give me fucking skeleton keys, please. <laughs> Israel Garcia Cuz. Okay. Okay. Hi there. Yeah, so there's also dead bodies that spawn in this area. Skeleton key? Hearts. Yes, one heart. Great. Okay, and the other place that has hanging bodies is this area of Goro's Dining Hall. So, just make like a lap through this area. And I usually keep on pressing triangle as I, as I do this, because sometimes you may not see the body. But there's no fucking body. No bodies. So sad. But yeah, like I would not recommend opening all of the all of the crypt chests. From what I've noticed is that like as you stay longer in the crypt, the chances of opening a chest containing a skeleton key drops. Drops. So I usually try to keep my um times in the crypt pretty like short. Pretty short. Alright, so the last place where there are, like, dead bodies is the pit. Any skeleton keys? Any bodies? Come on. But yeah, this is gonna be, like, a very long process to get to, to get to, um, 200. I'm at 82, so it's just gonna take forever. Yep, there's nothing here. So, this is where I would reload the crypt. Reload the crypt. And uh, then you would just make the cycle again. So, I'll show you the cycle again. Just in case you didn't catch everything. But, I mean, it's a pretty simple run. Pretty simple run. And, as you can see, like, just spearing bodies doesn't cost anything does not cost anything so if you're low on coin like just run through the crypt multiple multiple times multiple multiple times that's what i did when i was needing all of the chronica orb stuff 
just came into the crypt like a whole bunch of times and got all that stuff. Damn these hearts. But as you can see, when you leave and you reload, you're just given new bodies. Finally, a skeleton key. So that's our first one. Woohoo. Wow, okay, but um we need like we're at eighty three, so we need uh a <laughs> hundred and seventeen more. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. So, um but I mean like this is a method that just requires patience. Patience and time. I definitely feel frustrated. I definitely felt frustrated at the end of yesterday. Just like running through the crypt constantly. Pressing triangle. Pressing triangle. So no dead bodies here. So sad. Hmm. But yeah, once again, so we go back the same path that we traveled. So it's a Goro's a dining hall. Then this throne room has possibilities, but nope, nope, no bodies. So sad. Okay, and then back to collector's trade. So much running around this crypt. No bodies, so sad. Oh my god. Okay, so then let's just summon Collector. I like to see this guy. Like, what's the point I have all these coins and I don't use them? Huh, somehow we don't have one of these things? Kira's Dragon Blades? Wow, okay, gotta look out for that in Towers of Time. Hmm. Oh, um, little tips about Collector Trade. So, typically, if you see consumables, like tower consumables and, and things like that, um, they are usually gained by getting some sort of collector trade item from, from Towers of Time. From Towers of Time. But if you're missing a, like a specific gear or skin, I would say that those collector trade items are usually coming out of hidden chests. So like the ones that you see with Kenshi's uh, bandage, that would be easy ways of getting those collector trade items. But no bodies, so sad. So like, I mean like this is a very like long and lengthy repetitive process in order to get these skeleton keys. And I mean, like, if you're missing hearts, I guess this is also a good way of getting hearts. But, um, for me, I feel like there are not really no currencies that I'm lacking for in this game. Especially since, like, with the soul durable tower key, it's just so easy to get all the coin that you want. Hmm. So yeah, so there's like nothing here. So that was like one complete run through the crypt and only one skeleton key. Oh, so that, no, there was two. Two complete runs and I wasted a lot of money. So let's just refill the crypt. Not, so like, I like to try and do more runs, just spearing bodies as opposed to opening chests because uh, uh, that is, costly very costly um there is also another way of getting skeleton keys and it's pretty inconsistent very inconsistent so the idea is that you spawn a meteorite somewhere in the location and when you swing it you can possibly get a skeleton key i mean you can get a lot of stuff out of a meteorite but um that is also a possibility but the one thing is that once you summon the meteorite you kind of like i don't know where it lands <laughs> i thought it can only land in the courtyard so maybe if we're looking away oh there it is so there is a meteorite 
<laughs> There's a lot of things that can pop out of this, like the Shivering Stone Tower Key, Currencies, all of that stuff, but uh, there is a chance for Skeleton Keys to drop. And I mean, like, there really is no purpose to keeping these things. Really no purpose. So, uh, is that another meteorite? Yeah, we spawned two meteorites. Fantastic. Okay, so just forge items. But, I mean, there is the possibility. There is a possibility. So, might as well exhaust the usage of this, because this really has no other purpose than to give you loot. So, might as well use it and get loot. Yeah. Um, one thing I noticed is that you cannot combine Kai's Spiked Club with the Meteorite. If you do that, the Meteorite disappears right in front of you. <laughs> and I don't want to do that. I don't want to waste my Meteorite. But that's just a little point. So as you can see, I spent like maybe 10 minutes or so and only got one Skeleton Key. Lost a lot of money. So it is a costly, costly process if you choose to open chests. But, um, if you stick to just spearing bodies, you'll get it. Eventually. Uh, eventually. So I hope you found this, like, helpful, informative. Yes. Like, I hope that you go and actually search out these skeleton keys. Because it's possible. It is doable. Just requires time and patience. But yes, uh, a like, a comment, a subscribe would be greatly appreciated. Yes. Please let me know if this has helped you. And how your search is going for this stuff. Um, I hope your day is going well. And that it gets even better. But yes, stay healthy. Stay safe. Um, stay isolated. Uh, yeah. But until next time, thank you again. Bye. Peace. Take care.